Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, or whatever the time zone is where you're watching this video. My name is Fred Jensen, and I'm the product manager for PowerLog. In this video, we're going to be discussing machine learning using PowerLog and Python. Uh, we've had a couple other videos talking about the uh, Python extensions in PowerLog, and this will be about the third in the uh, set. Now we're going to use what is called deep machine learning, and it's called that because it uses some more sophisticated algorithms. Um, this, we're going to show some of the code, and then we're going to go in and hide the code. We're going to be using a Barnett data set, and we see a sample well in the middle of the screen, and we're showing the Barnett with the gamma ray and VCL, resistivity, lithology, density neutron, and the delta T shear and delta T compressional curves, and a phases log we generated using a uh, machine learning algorithms for unsupervised phases classification. Now, the part we're going to show this the uh, of the uh, Jupyter workflow, and the the code we're going to show has to do with how we gather the data. And if you read through there, you can see that we go in and we fetch the curves we want, and this is a real benefit of using PowerLog link to Python. You just list the curves you want. If you want to change the curves, you just delete them and rerun it, and it just takes seconds. In fact, we probably ran 50 or 60 models in the process of optimizing the uh, parameters that we used in the Keras uh, workflow, and it only took a few minutes to do that. It just takes a couple minutes per iteration. Now, we're going to go here, and if you look down in the workflow, you can see the PLF get current selected well. So we're going to select some wells, and then we're going to go ahead and run the model. Now, we're going to generate this in two steps. I'm going to hide the code now. The first step is to build the model, where we define the zones curve to fetch and the target. Then we're going to pre-process the data, define and calibrate the deep learning model and train the model, and then we're going to save the model. And at that point, we can go in and select the well we want to make predictions on and load this model saved and predict and then save the data to PowerLog. So let's go ahead and select some wells. And we're just going to select five wells, these five wells here. And then these two wells we're going to use as our blind test wells because they also have delta T compressional and delta T shear. So what we can do, and which is pretty cool, is we can go in and we can select the markdown where we select the well then go and we can run all above. So we run all above. And it's going to go through and show the data and then it's going to go ahead and build the model. And we're going to look at the model we get here. And I'm going to have to make this a little bit wider now so we can see all the outputs. And you can see that the model is indeed converging and that it's getting lower every time and it looks like we've got a pretty good model convergence and we've already saved the model. So now we're going to go to select the well in PowerLog to make predictions. And I'll go ahead and short this up so we can see our log plot again. And now I can go to cell. Well, let's go pick a well. Let's pick the AF1. And we're going to run all below. Because now that I'm selecting the well over here, that's the well that we're going to process over here. And I'm going to run all below. And it's going to go through, and it's going to generate a curve, which is going to pop up over here as soon as it finishes. Here we go. I had to select the well. So here is our predicted curve. The CARES DTS, which is a curve we just predicted, versus the DTS curve, the red. And you can see that the blue curve does an outstanding job of mimicking the original curve. And in fact, we had a... 85% correlation between the original curve and the predicted curve. This is an example of how you can use deep machine learning. Now, if you're currently a PowerLog user and you're on maintenance, you can contact me and we will provide this deep machine learning workflow, Jupyter workflow to you at no charge if you promise us to, to keep it confidential and use it only internally. And I thank you for your time and look forward to the next time I make a presentation.